Oh, I love it. It's just very intense rivalry. I love it. Nothing like it. How much would it mean to you shut them out like you have the past opponents, like out of the end zone in general? Oh, man, it's always good when you can shut down an opponent, especially in SC West opponents. So we were able to do it this week. That's going to be great, you know. So. Would it be a little extra since it's Auburn? Oh, of course it will. It always will. We can just take it to Auburn. So that'll be that'll be cool. But we're not focused on that. We're focused on what we got to do to execute and play good football. You played in the few now, but what did you know about the Iron Bowl before you got here? Uh, not too much. I, I wasn't big into college football before I came down, but it's definitely one of those things that people definitely don't forget. I mean, I still hear about my freshman year, so it, it's definitely something that's going to be a, a lasting legacy, I guess you could say. You see the in-state guys perk up a little bit more this week? Um, I, w- I really wouldn't say that. I mean, we're all one. It doesn't really matter where we're from. We're still playing for Alabama, so we're going to treat this like every other game, you know, and just go out there and do what we can do and control what we can control. Dalvin mentioned Saturday that the, the seniors especially still remember that 13 game. How much is that kind of still sticking in your head? Oh, I think about it every time we play Auburn. I mean, it kind of sucks. I feel like they took a national championship away from me. So that's something that I definitely remember and still think about every now and then. How much has this defense uh, progressed since the beginning of the season? Where have you seen improvements? It's just consistency. I mean, we don't make some of the blatant mistakes we made at the beginning of the year. So that's kind of the biggest part that I feel like we've improved on throughout the season. What needs to improve still? Consistent. You can always be more consistent. You can always communicate better. Um, make make sure we don't miss as many tackles as we have. We've been missing a couple of tackles every now and then. So, I mean, there's always something for us, for, for us to improve on. You've heard Nick say it and a few other players, but what does it mean when you guys say you didn't play well on Saturday? Just what, what, in what areas did you not play well? Well, uh, we didn't play up to our standards. It's not, it's not the fact that we didn't play well. We didn't play up to how we felt like we should have played. You know, so, I mean, we didn't feel like we really executed, gave too many yards on the ground personally. That's what I took away from it. So, something that we're going to work on and try to improve on this week. When you hear your head coach... I don't know if you heard the clip, but he said right before halftime he was embarrassed personally by the first half. What's your reaction when you have your head coach say that? I mean, we were too, so I mean, I mean, I mean, it's true. I mean, he, Coach Saban never got a lot to us, so if he's embarrassed, and obviously we're playing like crap, so which we were, so we, you know, luckily we got to, you know, fix a little bit in the second half. Is it kind of an internal conflict since y'all didn't let them score, but you didn't, weren't happy with how they, you performed? Um, no, we're, no, not, I wouldn't say that's an internal conflict. Um, we just didn't play good, you know, and we stepped up when plays needed to be made. But as a whole, we definitely was a sloppy game for the defense. It's a team that's very good with the pass rush on this team. Auburn passes about as few as passes any team in the country. Today. What's that change about the way you guys go about things? Mm, it really wouldn't change anything. Our goal is to make them a one-dimensional offense, and that's going to be our goal going to the game. So depending on how we do, we'll determine how many times they have to pass the ball. Coach works off, uh, a lot of times works off uh, the defensive end. I mean, does that affect you knowing that you know they may be reading kind of what your movements are, whether or not they give or take? I mean, that's fine with me. I want them to shoot more plays that I can possibly make. So, I mean, that's cool if they want to read me that. I mean, that's, that's, that's completely up to them. Can you disguise yourself in a way, you know, to read what you do when you do something to disguise that? Oh, no, just play fundamentally sound football, and that, that, that'll that usually, you know, take care of you. You have to play discipline when you play teams that like the zone read, so that's going to be my goal going to this game is play discipline football. How much easier is it to go into zone read now that, I mean, Alabama runs it a lot more than they used to? Oh, I mean, it's, it's definitely something that we practice all the time, so it's something that I get, you know, practice with every day, so it's definitely something that I'm comfortable with playing. It's not just the zone read. He talked about, you know, having to prepare for a lot of multiples when you play Auburn. Is that kind of a characteristic of what they do and, and how how tough a, a practice week is this? Like um, I wouldn't say this is any harder than, you know, all the other weeks we've been having. We, like, uh, Coach Haman's going to have the same mental intensity this week than he did, that he did last week. So we're going to go out there and just – it's a normal week for us. It's, it's another game on our schedule and we're going to treat it like such. And we're going to go out there and we're going to play good football. It, was a, it looked like it was set up where this game would be for SEC West for shot at the playoffs and everything. Do you almost wish that it was – and it was another like like 2013 where you both had that much in the line. Um, that's not really something that I can control, so I, I really don't really worry about that. I'm just worrying about that going to have a good week of practice and playing good football. I mean, it, it would probably I don't know. It might have been cool to look at from the outside. From the inside, it's still going to be a highly contested game and definitely a lot on the lot on the line for both teams. So it was, uh, you know, it's still an important game for us. Ryan Ryan joked that he was gonna that he was gonna tear up if he thought too much about. It being his last game as a senior, and Brian Denny, how do you approach that kind of game? Uh, I, I really haven't been thinking about it too much. I mean, I, it'll probably suck after it's over, but until then, I'm, I'm not even worried about that. To be honest, I'm just worried about getting this win. The fact that senior day is an Iron Bowl, though, what's that like? Oh, it was great. It's great. I'm glad it happened on my senior day. Damon Harris, if you guys they could score a bunch of touchdowns on you, do you think that's true? Through their offense? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah.
kind of yeah. when you talk about making a team one dimensional, right. that almost always means making them throw it. Oh, of course. I mean, if you can stop the run, the team has to throw it. That definitely makes them one dimensional. But um, they're effective at doing both. So I mean, it's gonna definitely gonna be a challenge for us. But we're excited, you know. I'm personally excited for the opportunity. What do you think about Cam? About Cam that way to running back? Physical back, you know, plays downhill. But I mean, almost every back in the SEC is physical, so that's something that we're used to. And we're gonna be ready for it Saturday. You remember your first game at Bryant Denny? We played so many. Hours. I want to say it was Colorado, my freshman mm-hmm. year. I think I'm not, I'm not even sure to be honest. But well, so many of them. Nervous or, or? Oh, nervous before every game. I mean, that's been even now. I'm just nervous yeah. before every game. Just anxious to get out there. Like two oh, this is a, just Angel, my siblings, on it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.